minutes to talk to you, so we're gonna make this fast. Yeah, so I may have broken my finger yesterday. Sorry, Bennett is really, really wild right now. Basically, the gist of the story is I was playing with Bennett, running around, and I slipped and fell, and I hit the coffee table with my shoulder, and somehow my hand got caught up in the mix. I don't know how it happened. It happened so fast. I can't even visualize what happened. All I know is that when I looked up and my hand was outstretched in front of me, my first thought was, oh my God, my finger. Because literally it was throbbing. It was more the, the tip of the nail here that was throbbing at first. Like I cut it on the coffee table. So it almost felt as if my nail had been like ripped backwards, but that's not the case. That's not what happened. Um, obviously my, my nail is fine, but this Bennett, Bennett, but this joint right here very quickly just swelled up. I will insert a clip so you can see the swelling. This was yesterday, by the way. This was last night that it happened. Then the inner part of my finger here turned like a purpley blue color. So I put together sort of like a makeshift splint. I, I happened to have a popsicle stick in one of my jeans from the summer. So I cut it down and then I put painter's tape around it because that's the only kind of tape I had. I had no band-aids at all and just kept that overnight because it was late. I didn't want to run to the hospital. I'm very lucky that where I work, we actually have a nurse in-house. So I thought I'll have her look at it in the morning and see what she says. So I went first thing and she took a look and she said, well, I can't tell you like whether or not completely it's broken, but it's definitely swollen and it's definitely like discolored or bruised on the inside. So she's like, let me, let me wrap it better for you. So this is, this is her wrapping job. It's very secure, almost feels like a cast for my finger. Uh, but she said, you, you'll definitely have to go have it looked at. So I have eaten food. I'm about to take Bennett out just for like a quick walk around pee. And then I am going to be going to the hospital for like, who knows how long? Cause I'm not an emergency. Like this is just a finger, like whatever. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave Bennett here. He's gonna be really depressed about that. Are you gonna miss me? Yeah, this is what I'm dealing with right now. You're such a cutie, yeah. I will show you the scene of the crime. So I slipped right about here on the carpet and then I ended up flying right into the coffee table. The coffee table shifted over and again, like my eyes were closed. I didn't see what happened. So when I opened my eyes, the coffee table was like totally skewed and my shoulder was also throbbing. I hit my shoulder right around here. I'm guessing like right into the table. Super cool. And yeah, so like I fell right about here. Very painful, very painful, obviously. Obviously. So we are gonna go off to the hospital and figure out, do I have my first broken bone? We shall see. All right, I am home, I am showered. You know, considering that everyone told me that I would probably wait forever at the hospital, I think they had me through in about three hours, which is pretty good. So essentially I went in, the, I guess the technician um, took a look at me and then, <laughs> you're so hyper. What's, what is, no, monkeys. No. She took a look at my finger. She took the bandage off. She could see that it was pretty swollen. And she's like, okay, now you're gonna go sit in the purple zone. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go sit in the purple zone. So I went and it was this other room and there was only one other woman inside. So I thought, this is good. Like, this is a good sign. And then I think I probably waited in the room for about 45 minutes. And the woman who was there before me was called. And then I was in probably only 15 minutes later. It was pretty quick. They brought me into my own room. And then I sat there again for probably 15, 20 minutes. And then they called me over to the x-ray area. About two minutes later, the woman who had been in the room with me came and she sat beside me. And she's like, how did you get here first? And I was like, I have no idea. I asked her what her problem was. She said she had a sprained ankle. So maybe because like mine was potentially a break and hers was a sprain, they kind of was putting me first. I don't know. So I did my x-rays and then not long after a nurse came and talked to me and he's like, no fractures, nothing. I do have a sprain. And he said that, you know, for sprains, you want to continue to move it and like make sure that the mobility's there because it will get pretty like stiff. I do still have a lot of swelling. So he said, keep it iced, keep it elevated. You know what? Even though it wasn't a break, I don't regret going to the hospital because from what I had read, if it was a break and I didn't go get it looked at, that would be far, far worse. It could essentially heal incorrectly 
and could cause you a lot of problems later on in life. And yeah, I don't have much else planned for the night. It's like 10 p.m. So I think I'm probably just like gonna go to bed. Bennett is so hyper. I don't know what is up with him. And I will pick up the camera maybe again tomorrow. I'm doing like work thing tomorrow but it's like a Halloween fun work thing. I don't know, maybe I'll get some clips of it. I am with my coworkers and that's kind of awkward to film. So it might be in here, it might not be. You'll see in about like 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you all potentially tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, Kate, tell us what you got. So today I got a classic hot chocolate, but non-fat, light whip, three pumps of mocha, no mocha drizzle, and four pumps of peppermint syrup. Not high maintenance at all. <laughs> no. All right, try it, try it. Not at all. I can, oh I can actually smell, smell it from here. peppermint. No. Is it good? Oh, yes. <laughs> It's like Christmas in a mug. Lucky, what is that? Getting behind you. He's like, no, I'm over this. <laughs> like what? I know. Hey, you guys. It is Sunday now. I don't know what is happening to me this weekend. I am so lazy and unmotivated i'm tired i've had to have a nap both saturday and sunday i never nap unless i am like totally completely exhausted napping usually doesn't actually make me feel better it usually makes me feel worse but it's actually helping me this weekend so i don't know what it is i guess my body's just telling me that I need to slow down and relax this weekend, so that's kind of what I've been doing. It is 5 o'clock, so it's late. I totally meant to vlog yesterday after coming back from my walk with Kate, and I just lost all steam, everything. I had so many plans for today, and I feel like they've all just gone out the window. I ended up napping from 1 until 3, which isn't too, too bad, and I did manage to get myself up, have a shower, I put on some laundry, I did the dishes and I took Bennett out for like a little walk. Not too, too much, but a little one. So I guess I have done stuff today, but definitely not as much as I wanted to. That being said, just because of like my mood and how this weekend is going, um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's probably a short one. I'm sorry about that. It's just like, I'm just not feeling it this weekend and I really do need to be into it, need to feel it. And because a lot happened earlier in the vlog, I think I'm just going to like end it. 
I hate when like my vlogs really like jump around like this one does, but that's sometimes just the way the world works and it can't totally be controlled. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. It really means a lot to me. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell if you want to get notified as to when I will be posting next. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.